Hey guys! So one thing that I really love seeing online are these uh, comparison photos of like a person's art when they were a kid and then a person's art now. I think those are all very fun. And you guys have seen quite a bit of my old fan fiction. So now I want to show you something that I wrote uh, my freshman year of college. And um, it just shows you how far I've come and how much of a troll I continue to be. So without further ado, this is called The Strippers, comma, Joe Biden and Barack Obama. They never thought it would be this way. They thought that after 2016, they'd retire comfortably and live in peace for the rest of their days. That's not exactly what happened. During Barack's presidency, both Michelle and Jill grew accustomed to a certain lifestyle, and once that lifestyle had been taken from them, they left, taking everything they could with them. Joe and Barack had no choice but to move into a tiny Chicago apartment together. Barack remembers sighing and shaking his head, sitting down on Joe's ratty old couch in their shitty new place. Guess it's just you and me now, Joe. Yep, Joe replied. Just you and me. Work was hard to come by. Few businesses were willing to take on the security challenges of employing a former president. With their options limited and their money running out, they turned to the only employer that would take them. Madame de Tot's male strippers. The money was surprisingly good. Apparently, many Chicagoans had a presidential fetish. Madame de Tot's business flourished as word spread that you could hire a former president and vice president to strip at your bachelorette party. The madame decided that a moneymaker like this should be flaunted, so she put up advertisements that read, Hire the strippers, comma, Joe Biden and Barack Obama, comma, for your bachelorette party, only $100 an hour. Unfortunately, her message was misinterpreted. One devout grammar nerd got their hands on the advertisement, and soon it was being spread across the internet with the caption, Oxford, comma, fail. Upon seeing this post, Barack Obama shed a single tear. If only they knew, he murmured, shaking his head sadly. If only they knew. So that's a little bit of uh, what I've been writing since I started college. Um, maybe you can see the progress, maybe you can't, but um, that's how far I've come since the days of writing about Little Old Ice Mask. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that story, and again, help me get to 52 by the end of the year. Subscribe, uh, check out my other videos, and I'll see you next week!